Now, if you've been following the tutorials on Stencil that I've made, you should have a game or a character which moves, jumps, hits enemies and dies. So you should be well on the way to making a, a really cool game. But I thought we'd take a break from those tutorials and start to move it up into some more advanced topics. Now, if you look at my character here, which I downloaded from Stencil Forge, it moves just fine left and right. Now, the problem that I have with this movement is it's not really the way that games are made now. So, for example, if you play almost any modern game or any old-fashioned game, as our character moves, when you let go of either left or right, your character should slide a little bit. And when your character moves, they should actually kind of speed up, almost like real life. And that's not happening here. So let's go back to our code that we made. And if you remember from previous tutorials, a simple left and right movement is really easy to make. You put in a when updating block, set the speed to zero for always, and just change the speed if you press right to 20 and left to minus 20. Of course, the bigger number makes your character move faster. Now this is a really cool way of making a character move, but it just doesn't look as polished as a real game. So we're going to do that today. And what I'm going to do is disable this movement over here and create a brand new move left and right. I've got a when updating block here. So this is, of course, almost the same as our old script, except we're going to take it to the next level. Now, what we need to do here is, first of all, we need to make an attribute, a variable. So we're going to create a attribute or a variable called velocity. It's going to be a number. And velocity, if uh, you're scientific at all, means moving in a direction. Or, or if you want to put it simply, it's your speed, so your velocity. So I'm going to press OK to that. Now I've got this variable here. It's not really got any value. We haven't done anything with it. So let's set up a when creating block. So this is when the game is run. And what we're going to do is we're going to initialize the variables. Initialize just means we're going to set them either to zero or whatever number we want to. So when we create this game or when the game is started, we're going to set the velocity to zero. Now what that will do is make sure that our character never moves when you start the game. Only time the character will move is if you press left or right. So we've initialized our variables to zero. And now we're going to go to our new move left and right. So what we're going to do here is very simple. We are going to say, first before anything, we are going to say, let's take our actor and let them move. So the x speed is always going to be set to the velocity. So if the velocity is 10, the x speed will be 10. In other words, our character will move at a speed of 10. If it's minus 10, our character will move left minus 10. And we're going to set that there. Now, of course, we haven't actually told it to move. Because we set our velocity to zero, when we start the game, all that's going to happen is our character is just going to be sitting there. So now let's add a couple of inputs. So let's go if and if. And we want to, of course, put some controls in. So let's put in a control for left and right. I'll do that there. So let's go right on this one. And we're going to go left on this one. And now we want our character to move. So really, if the whole time our character's x speed, our left and right speed, is always set to whatever the velocity is, right now the velocity is 0. So what we're going to do is if you press right, we're going to take the velocity. So what we're going to do is the following. We are going to go to our variables, our attributes, and we're going to say set the velocity to whatever the velocity is, which is currently 0, and add 1 to it. For the left-hand side, what we're going to do is we're going to say set the velocity to whatever the velocity is, which again, right now, is 0, and minus 1 from it. So we've got a plus one and a minus one. Now if we set that block inside those blocks, we've disabled the old move left and right just by unticking it there. So we now currently have only this new. It looks almost the same as the old one, 
but there's going to be an important difference. Let's just test that game. So here we have our character. Now let's just press right. And you can see that he speeds up and slows down. It's a little bit better than before, but with one major problem. I'm kind of skating on ice here. So if I press right and let go, our character just moves. An even bigger problem is if I keep the right or the left press, you'll see this, he gets faster and faster until, of course, he goes off the screen. So we've got a really cool movement, but we're not controlling it very well. So we've got, again, if we just recap, we've got our X speed always set to whatever the velocity is. Velocity starts off at zero. When you press right, the velocity goes up by one. If you press left, the velocity goes down by one, minus one. So what we now need to do is figure out a way that our character will stop if we let go of the right or the left. And we want that stopping to be really cool. So what we're going to do now is the following. We're going to go back to our setters. We're going to set our velocity. Like so, we're going to set our velocity to whatever the velocity is currently. So if it's zero, it will be zero. But if, let's say our velocity is 10, because we've been pressing right, and it goes up one, two, three, four, and it gets to 10, when we let go of the right button, we want our character to now slow down and stop. And the way to do that is to just multiply whatever the velocity is with a number that's less than one, like so. Because of course, if the velocity is one, and you multiply it by one, the velocity will stay as one. If the velocity is five, and you multiply it by one, it will stay as five. In other words, you won't change the speed. Now, as soon as we multiply by anything that's less than one, the number of the velocity or the value of velocity will go down. So in other words, let's say our velocity is 10. When we let go of our button, this little code here will just say, take 10 and multiply it 0 0.9, which will end up making the velocity nine. And then it will do the same thing again, which will make it go down eight point something, seven, six, five, until finally our character stops, because the velocity will have been going down and down and down and down until it reaches zero. So let's just have a go at this. So here's our character. And you can see it's moving as I'm pressing left and right. But you can now see we've got a, a little bit a bigger problem. Our character doesn't move so fast. And there is that lovely sliding, but it's not so good. So let's go back to our code. And let's figure out what's going on. Now, of course, we can make our velocity a little bit faster. So let's go to three and three. So now when I press my left and right, rather than just adding one to the velocity, it's going to be adding three, we should get a faster character. Let's just check this out. Now you can see here, our character moves a little bit faster. And he's got that lovely little slide, but I want the slide to be a little bit more exaggerated, I want it to actually look like that Mario where he really does slide on the floor before he stops. So let's just figure out how we can make the slide a little bit better. So let's look at our velocity is three. Now I'm going to increase that to four just to make it seem a bit more exciting. And over here, where we've got 0 0.9. Now the bigger I make this number, the bigger the slide will be. So for example, if I go to 0 0.95, and we'll test this out, you'll see what happens to the slide. Now you can see here my speed is a lot more. And the slide is a lot more. In fact, I think I made the speed a little bit too much, but you can see that he slides around. The bigger you make this number, the faster your character will go. And the bigger you make this number, or as close as you get to one, so let's go 0 0.99, the bigger the slide's going to be, or the longer it takes your character to slow down when you let go of either your left or your right. So let's test this out. And you can see here that 0 0.99 has made it so that when you let go, he slides forever. So 
using those two numbers, your velocity and your slowing down, your less than one number, you can really control your game and make it how you want. So I'm going to do my final touch on this, which normally I will do a 0 0.97. And over here, I'm going to do a 2.5 and a 2.5. And for me, I think those numbers are going to result in a really cool moving character. And you can see now when I move this, he has a lot better movement. So as I move left and right, he speeds up, goes to a maximum speed, and when I let go, he slides. And also, one of the really cool features about this script is that when you are running and you change direction, you can actually see him having to slow down before you go left to right or right to left. In my opinion, this makes games look a lot cooler when your character slides around and doesn't stop dead when you let go. Also makes games a bit more challenging when you've got platforms and you've got to aim a bit better you have to control your character a little bit better. It makes your games a lot more enjoyable, it makes them a little bit less predictable as well. So just to recap on this code, in case you're having troubles understanding everything we've done here, we basically set up an attribute called velocity. We then said, no matter what happens in this game, always set the X speed of my character to whatever that velocity is. If it's zero, don't move. If it's 10, move right. If it's minus 10, move left. So velocity is always the X speed or the left and right speed of my character. If I press right, I'm gonna take my velocity and add some numbers to it. The more numbers you add, the faster it'll go. Equally, if I press the left, I'm gonna take my velocity and minus numbers from it, which means that it's going to now travel left. Once those two are sorted out, you put in this slow down factor, which is your set velocity to whatever the velocity is right now and multiply it by less than one. So for example, if you put 0 0.5, your character would just stop dead. If you put 0 0.99, your character slides around as if it's on ice. So experiment with that number and your two left and right numbers and I'm pretty sure your characters are gonna move way better than they did before.